Hey folks, Fernando doing our video here for Mars Revivalist, hopefully a short video. This is not going to be a, a knife review video, just mentioning a few things that I want you guys to know. So first of all, before I even forget my knife, the Aitor Furfal knife, it is available again, sold out the first run, available again in stock following the link uh, below to Aitor's website. So if you want to get it, this is your chance. Besides that, Aitor gave me a 25% discount using the code, the Mars Revivalist. So Take advantage of that. If you are interested in any knife that they have over there, go check it out. The website is quite nice. Link below. And remember to use the code for that 25% discount, okay? So now that I got that out of the way, which is kind of important, um, second thing. This morning I opened this box and it was kind of overwhelmed a bit by uh, by it all. Um, my knife here uh, among some of the more classic survival knives ever. I mean, uh, at least for me growing up and especially for pretty much any kid in Latin America back in the day, you would open those uh, gun magazines and see these knives. Some of them more, you know, my knife in the same box literally as the Oso Blanco, one of the more uh, classic survival combat knives. Oso Blanco would be the, the this, the, the, this version, the Oso Negro, the Black Bear, is the one that is blacked out, all black. Um, these are tough used knives, man. These are still used by several armed forces around the world. This is one of the more copied knives there is. There's a, a pile of, of knockoffs and fakes made in China. Not the same thing. Aitor, made in Spain, Basque region. It's, a, it's the same place where my family comes from. My last name is Basque as well. Aguirre. So that, there's that connection too. And these things are bomb proof. It's a, a full tan going all the way through and it goes into this nut right here. So it's it's not the same thing as a, as a Chinese knockoff for sure. These things are, are a beast. In the case of my knife, it's a, it's a full tank, five millimeter thick blade. So it's a strong, strong knife. If you haven't seen the review that I did for my knife, I leave the link there as well below. So yeah, you know, that, that is it. My Carta red cool liners there. Just, just nice. Uh, also in this box came maybe one of the more iconic survival knives there is, <laughs> the Jungle King 2. Smaller brother of the Jungle King 1, the larger version. This is a knife that I've seen in so many magazines growing up. And you know, when I was 10 years old, I was gifted this for my birthday, uh, a Chinese knockoff version of this knife. Because these, you would see these in, in magazines and they were always expensive and maybe in a, in a gun store. But man, the prices were definitely not cheap, definitely not as cheap as this. And some people will say, oh, it's a hollow handle knife. No, you're, you're thinking of the Chinese knockoff. You're not going to be breaking an Aitor Jungle King 1 or 2. These are strong knives. All of this is metal and it's a strong alloy and it's a lot of material here pinned in place. You're going to be breaking, actually, if you use this for lever enough for supply, you're going to be breaking the blade itself, which is tough enough already. But you're going to be breaking the blade before you get this out of this uh, metal alloy that's very, very strong. This is a knife that's used by, again, different armed forces in Spain, definitely, but by several uh, groups in other countries as well. They just sell these uh, quite a bit all over the world. It's a, a classic, classic survival knife, the hollow handle. You have a, a survival kit in there. Um, and this is, this is the sheath where it comes in hard plastic, well, it's like a injected nylon reinforced type of plastic and you have the, the slingshot there. I mean, this is the, the, the quintessential survival knife, right? A kit in here in the handle, a spare Skinner knife and you have the, the slingshot rubber there too. Actually, some of this stuff is found in my own knife because the sheath for my knife would be this one. This is the knife, right? The same one here, and the sheath comes with a, a small skinner. It's the same skinner as in the Jungle King. So you have this small skinner with a hook, a gutting hook there. And this goes right there, it goes into that sheath and the small survival uh, tube with a, a fire steel fi uh, fishing line and hooks and such a bunch of little things all in there sharpening stone here on the other side i mean if you want to just if you're not care for this all that much you can just remove the tube have more of a, of a flat 
um, sheath or just remove it entirely and you have the, the fire the um, sharpening stone here and you can just twist it this upside down like that or reverse it and you can use it as a molly attachment so as you have this attached somewhere if you're if that's something you would like so anyway just um, a few things just super happy to you know see this project where it is at this at this stage right now uh, the, the kind of um, uh, of company that my knife has is you could not ask for for anything better anyway the links are going to be there below knife available discount remember that as well if you're interested in survival preparedness surviving the economic collapse street survival skills bugging out and relocating also links for that there below see you in the next video guys have an awesome day take care